Good afternoon. Everyone's sleepy. It was a busy day for me at work, but I am done working, but Sarah and James are actually taking a nap. So, depending on how long they sleep, I don't think we'll be going out tonight because it's 5.15 already, um, and we're gonna let, just let him snooze. And so if he wakes up, like we had park passes for Magic Kingdom, but it closes at seven. So um, we'll see where the night goes. Eve is just being so cute. She's been extra like loving today. I don't know if she feels something changing with the move with boxes piling up or or James getting older, but like she's been like just like very loving on me, like just coming over and laying on my my chest or like laying against my leg with in between my meetings. Uh, but anyway, welcome to the vlog. somber day in America with 400,000 deaths being reached today because of COVID. But remembering is caring. And that cause for everybody. Guess who woke up so happy to see me? Just kidding. He woke up really hungry. We're just getting Sarah situated on the couch. Some research on Chicago? Oh, let me show you. So, it is 7 Eleven, and Sarah and I have lots of feelings going on right now about the move, about my work, and about the Trump presidency ending tomorrow and the Biden Harris administration beginning tomorrow and reflecting on where we were in life at the beginning of Trump's tumultuous presidency and where we are now. We're in another chapter of change, but. We are celebrating the end of Trump's presidency with a big old pizza order. So I'm actually going to go out and run tonight. And I've got more to talk to you about running later because I got a training schedule that I've applied to my phone. And that's the best way to, for me to stay consistent is to have it on my calendar apps. So I'm going to go run now because I know if I wait until the pizza shows up, I am not going to run then. And this little baby woke up when I woke up. He had some dinner and is back to sleep. Are you smiling? Don't mind the diaper and the wipes. We keep all that stuff in close arm's length reach. Um, but I'm watching some Mickey shorts. Evie's on some neighborhood watch. Hi, honey. I did not expect to take such a luxurious nap this evening. Um, but clearly I needed it. I, I actually was like... I've, I've been pretty sleepy over the weekend. I think we did a good balance of going out and about and resting. Um, but, I mean, it's it's a heavy time. And honestly, my body's defense is to sleep. And not necessarily heavy in a bad way, but just there's a lot going on between the inauguration and the state of our country, as well as us moving, um, the push and pull of the bittersweetness of it all. Um but also, I am back to working this week, um, my freelance work. It's not, you know, I'm not going back into an office, I mean, or anything like that. I feel so fortunate that, you know, I'm home and Peter's home. And I know that that is such a struggle for parents and guardians um, in our country especially, but really all around the world, going back to work and whatnot is difficult. And I feel, I feel extremely grateful for our situation. Um, but it is going to be an adjustment. And it's, you know, it's nice that it's freelance. I'm in control. I make my schedule. But now that, you know, he's been here and I understand even already balancing the vlog, which, I mean, I guess I've never truly took off work 100% because the vlog has continued to go up. And that is a part of my work. Um... I do understand the balance and the time it takes and the attention that I want to give him. And so I'm excited to dive back in because the work that I do is um, 
is really important and is a really cool client and I will be able to share more soon about that. I've, I've shared a couple of things on social media, but truly like adding it to my portfolio, um, I'll be able to share more. But it's again, just like another thing that this week um, that is, you know, on my mind and on our shoulders. And so, why is Evie, why is Evie growling? Oh, maybe the pizza's here. It was our dinner. So just to wrap up all of that Sarah rambling, um, there's a lot of change going on for us right now. And I don't know, I think we're gonna have to let ourselves have some grace and be kind to ourselves through it all because change isn't easy. Um, even if it is super exciting. So we have never tried this local pizzeria before. Um, it's called Antonella's. Ooh, the flavor you can only find at an independent pizzeria. This has always popped up on Uber Eats and I think we've always just like done the quick deals that um, Domino's or you know chain pizzas have. And I'm excited because we're going to be leaving Winter Park and it's nice to like give them some love. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is their like signature pizza. Pepperoni, sausage, red peppers, onions, and mushrooms. We got garlic knots and mozzarella sticks and I wish you guys could smell this. I ran extra fast. <laughs> Come on. Were you still here when they were parking? What? You texted me that the pizza guy was parking. I was a mile away when I texted you that. How did you know he was here? Because I got a push notification. Oh. On my, on my <laughs> I was nervous that, like, for some reason they weren't going to deliver it because my phone was with me over out in the neighborhood. But I was like, wait, people have, like, Uber Eats us, us food before. Yeah. That looks really good. I better go take a quick shower. Did you guys know that, um,. Well, one, that food was delicious, and we actually didn't eat the whole pizza. I'm proud of us. I know. We have half a pizza, so we'll save that for tomorrow while we're watching the inauguration, so that'll be great. And Sarah made my night and asked if we could watch Lord of the Rings, so I never yes. say no to that. It's like, in Peter Brookhart's DNA, when Sarah Brookhart says, do you want to watch Lord of the Rings? I have to say yes. That's what it is. So we're going to watch Two Towers, and I want to show you two cool photos of this now and then book of Chicago areas and just like get ready for the Chicago adventures. I'm like ready to go on them. I know, me too. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm ready for my baby to wake up. He's been asleep since like 6 a.m. yesterday. He doesn't want to hang out with me. He's just growing. But this little chicken has been literally attached to my side all day, which I love. I love that. Do you hear something by the door? All right, so here's a book. Um, sorry, Northern Trust Corporation, but you had a meeting at the JW Marriott years ago and I stole this book. I didn't steal it. Uh, somebody never checked in and it was like a welcome gift, so I took it. So right here is the old intersection of Halstead, Fullerton, and Lincoln, which is uh, a little down the street from us and where we're gonna live. There's a back in the day in the 30s, really cool. And there it is, just a few years ago. I think this was 2012. Very, very cool, that's, that's somewhat in our neighborhood, kind of. And then this, an old photo of Wrigley Field, 1915. Look how awesome that looks. There's a new, new work, Chris Kindle Market, a German market, Christmas market, that happens now in Wrigley. Hopefully it'll be returning next year. I'm confident it will be. And there is a picture of it today. And we live even closer to this. We're like not even a mile away from this bad boy. So very, very, very excited. And then we're going to... I just want to show this because they're like within our neighborhood-ish. But all of these places, we're going to show you every single... Look at that. That looks familiar. Christmas present much. We're going to show you every single one of these. And maybe I'll try to make a point that every time we go to one of these places, I like show this book and be like, this is where the vlog was today. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm going to be running on that all the time. Lakeshore Drive. Woo!
Chelsea shared this video. One more day until Biden is president. And James couldn't keep his eyes off. Right. <laughs> he woke up just in time to watch our video and just watch him so contently. <laughs> Jamesy, you awake now? Hi. <laughs> What's that tongue doing? What's that tongue doing? <coughs> what? <coughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. Mm. Really? What else? What? What? You're entering your third leap? You're gonna be growing up this week? Oh my goodness. One of the best cinematic story twists in all of the trilogy, when Gandalf the White appears. Lord of the Rings, great movie to sit down and watch every detail of. It's Jamesy Boy. Also a great movie to have in the background while you get certain things done. And we just need to take these opportunities to get things done. I think. I'm leaving that display up. I'm gonna get rid of a different display. I think it's time to say goodbye to some of these things out here. A little background on these two beauties. This is the Disney World Walter E. Disney number one engine train by Larry Dotson, and this is not by Larry Dotson, but this is the Marceline train station in Marceline, Missouri. This is the actual train station, it's now a museum, and this is where Walt himself fell in love with trains, which followed on to be all the importance in trains in the cartoons, and the theme parks, and the Carrollwood Pacific Railroad in Walt's backyard, all because of this train station. And we have been there. Sarah just said, like, we talked about before, she doesn't know if we're gonna go back to this arrangement, I was not a fan of this arrangement. Like, I wasn't like 100% about it when we first put it up. Like, it was Sarah's vision, but then the moment it was done, I fell absolutely in love with it. And now that Sarah wants to switch over to potentially a new, like, layout or framework or something, is like, it just all fits together so well. Because it's like, that's our life, and that's Christmas, and it's everything. I love it. I am taking photos, just in case we decide to put it exactly the same. Look who just had bath time to end a nice calm night home. He loves yeah, bath time. He does love bath time. I'm excited to get him like in his little tub but in the big tub. Yeah. Yeah. And the new tub in our new apartment is like lower so yeah, it'll be easier, it'll be easier for, for us. to like kneel next to it. Yeah. Are you so clean now? So fresh and clean? Yes, yes, yes. You don't smell like toe jam anymore? Nope. Let's do your lotions and potions. But let's also show <laughs> James is very into the movie, which makes me very happy, but listen to this. The ones that really mattered. Full of darkness and danger they were. And sometimes you didn't want to know the end. You didn't be happy. That sounds very familiar. Right there. But in the end, it's only a passing thing, this shadow. Even the darkness must pass. A new day will come, and when the sun shines, it will shine out clearer. Those were the stories that stayed with you, that meant something. Even if you were t they were too small to understand why. But I think, Mr. Photo, I do understand. I know now. Folk in those stories had a lot of chances for turning around. Only they didn't. Because they were holding on to something. Hey! Oh, he's being very vocal right now. He says, start my stories again. Cause he's sometimes been loving it. He has been loving it. And these are the stories that we hold on to. Okay, okay. Dare you say it's early for the Burkharts? Well, Sarah does have a very early call with a client across the, the world, really. So we're going to bed now. And with that brings you, of course, the message of the day. January 19th is the day. 
Today's quote is a Mark Twain quote. The best way to cheer yourself up is to try to cheer somebody else up. Oh, I like that a lot. I meant to explain my new running um, plan between now and April 10th, which is the Milwaukee Marathon. Um, I'll have Sarah put in like a picture here of the plan and then we'll put a link down below to the article that I, I, I snagged it from. I think I've done this training plan before um, and I said to Grant, I think Grant's gonna, we're both gonna follow up with a little bit of modification for like off days and such, but um, it worked out where literally today, Tuesday of this 12 week, of week one was the first running day. Monday was the first day, but it was an off day. Tuesday, today was the first running day. So it worked out that I happened to look it up today and to go out. So I went out for a three mile run today, I'll do a four tomorrow and so on and so forth. So I'm excited to be, before I was just kind of like guessing what I wanted to run, now I have it on my phone and my calendar app and I can wake up every day and just look at it, my calendar, and it reminds me I need to run this today. There's no like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow because tomorrow I'm supposed to run a different set of miles. So uh, I really think I will get back in the groove. I know I'll get back in the groove doing this way because this is the third time I've done like training a marathon program like that and it's always worked like that rather than me just being like I'm gonna make sure I don't go two or three days without running like having that consistent structure um, works out for me so I'm excited weird afternoon right not what yeah. we you thought maybe? not what I thought I made a park pass intending for us to go like check out the walkway from Grand Floridian to Magic Kingdom but I know we'll do that soon one last thing the thing I'm like most excited for in the short term for Chicago is figuring out like where we're gonna put all of our stuff like it's just like constantly in my head like how are we gonna whereas arrange? it's not in my mind at all because for me <laughs> i'm not gonna even think about it until we're in the space i know but i feel like that's what's driving me to be like i'm so ready because we have the apartment we're packing up here we're in such like an in-between stage it'll be good to be all settled again it's good to be home it's good to be home <laughs> We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.